In this video, we'll look at whether silver nitrate, AgNO3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that AgNO3 is an ionic compound, but within the silver nitrate, we have this nitrate ion, and the bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, that is a covalent bond. So on the periodic table, right here is silver. See, it's a metal, and then nitrogen and oxygen, those are both nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetals. When we have metal and nonmetals, it's almost always going to be an ionic bond. Because it's ionic, we really need to think about the ionic charges. So we find silver again, and silver, even though it's a transition metal, it's kind of an exception. It's always one plus. So we're going to put a plus up here for its ionic charge. The nitrate ion, this is a real good one to remember, the whole nitrate ion has a charge of one minus. So we have this positive silver ion and this negative nitrate ion. The positive and the negative, they attract that forms our ionic bond. So silver nitrate, the compound here, that's an ionic compound. Let's talk a little bit though about the nitrate ion. So for the nitrate ion, we said nitrogen, that is a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. Nonmetal plus nonmetal, that gives us covalent bonds. We also call this molecular. So the bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, those bonds, they're gonna be covalent. But overall, the bond between the silver and the nitrate ion, that's ionic. So we call the compound an ionic compound. So in answer to our question whether silver nitrate is ionic or covalent, the compound's ionic, but we do have covalent bonds within the nitrate polyatomic ion. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.